St. Joseph, terror of demons. When we think about demons, we picture a gruesome, evil creature. One would ask how Joseph, a humble and caring man, could terrify demons. Hello, my name is Michael Regacki. I have been a member of St. Mary's Parish for 13 years. My wife, Diane, and two children treasure this church and community. It has helped us walk closer to God and be more like St. Joseph. St. Joseph was the earthly father of Jesus. Since Mary received Jesus through the Immaculate Conception, he was challenged from the very start. Imagine having to grasp the concept that your wife is pregnant with the Son of God. The confusion, stress, and anxiety. Joseph overcame these hardships, fulfilled the role of being a father, to be strong, caring, and walk humbly with God. Joseph saw everything as a gift from God, especially Jesus. As a father, I can understand how nervous and worried he must have been at first, and then filled with happiness and excitement. Joseph taught Jesus how to live, and Jesus' teachings brought Joseph closer to God. You see, Joseph was surrounded by God in his everyday life, not just because he was raising God's son, but because he fulfilled the role. In order to raise God's son, one has to be willing to walk the path of God. When we walk that path according to God, we ourselves become a terror of demons, like Joseph. What are our demons? Hate, depression, anxiety, violence and addiction, just to name a few. These are the demons we face in our everyday lives. When we fill our hearts and minds with the Lord, we become more like Jesus. St. Joseph is the perfect example. With so much going on in the world, I can't think of a better healer. When I follow God's path, I have no fear. I know the Lord has a plan for me and that my own life is a gift. My anxieties are relieved when I understand that nothing matters more than the love I have for those around me. When I feel depressed, I stop and think and appreciate all the wonderful gifts God has given me. I look around and I see God everywhere because I open my heart like Joseph did. So I challenge everyone to take Joseph's lead, open your hearts and surround yourself with God. Reject acts of evil and hate. Live a life of humility and appreciate all the gifts God has given and provided. Understand that our own lives are a gift. I promise you, if you do these things, you too will become a terror of demons, just as St. Joseph is. When demons leave you alone, you find peace. In peace, there is happiness. We ourselves hold the key Thank you, St. Joseph, for the perfect example.